As the storm of February 2nd approached, it seemed like even the morning doves were getting ready for it, fluffing up their feathers and bracing for the sheets of snow and bracing wind of Tuesday night. By early Wednesday morning, residents of Northville were busy pushing the snow around with snow throwers or visiting downtown Northville, camera in hand. I'm, I'm here with the Northville record. Okay. You guys uh, out of school for today? Yeah. What do you guys think of it? Or... It's not that much. Everyone's over exaggerating. Really? <laughs> yep. But is it, it's like six, seven, eight inches, something yeah. like that? Yeah, six inches earlier. Okay. And you're out taking photos? Yeah. Okay. For a class or just <laughs> nope, for? Nope, just for fun. Okay. Downtown Northville was almost empty. Most restaurants opened, but its shops, for the most part, were shuttered. Northville resident Alan Repke walked his Beagle Bye. Stitch along Dunlap Street. Beagle! <laughs> do, you have, do you have four paw drive? <laughs> yes, he does. Other residents, like Bob Sochaki, busied themselves clearing out the almost seven inches of snow that had fallen by that time. Up in Novi, the situation was pretty much the same. Roads were passable, aided by city of Novi plows. Schools, like Novi Woods, were empty, closed for the day. Their students left to other studies, like the physics of flight. These kids turned a hill near Novi Woods into a jump, and Catherine Ray really seemed to be enjoying herself. This, this is the best snow day of my life. Snow day? Now why is it, why is it the best snow day? Because, like, I've never been in a blizzard before. Yeah. Like, this is, like, um, this is, like, unbelievable. Yeah. Meanwhile, a quick trip back through Northville found its very popular hill at Ammerman filled with sledders, enjoying a day off school and work and a good winter's day to be outside. <laughs> <laughs> 